So welcome back to another video. Actually, <laughs> Tamil lad, actually. So actually, you watched the last video which we made a topic on uh, MS in Infotech from University of Stuttgart, and you ha we have a new student here. His name is Arijit, right? Yeah. Arijit, he is from Meghalaya, and he is studying his MSc in Computer Science in the same university, University of Stuttgart. And the good thing is, uh, he came to Stuttgart like. Three months ago, today is October. Like he came in July. Yeah, in July. Which is during Corona, and I think we will have little bit more experience from his side. Uh, we will see like uh, how he came and what about his profile and everything. Yeah, is it uh, yeah. like what was your profile like bachelor's profile when you applied to this university? Like uh, other than bachelor's, what you had in extra? So basically, I did my bachelor's in computer science. Mm -hmm. uh, I passed out in 2017. Mm -hmm. After that, I worked for two years. in a software company in chennai and after that i had 6 months break then i applied in stuttgart okay which means you worked in chennai do you know tamil uh, yeah i know tamil actually i studied in tamil nadu really so, so okay it, in total i stayed around 6 years in tamil nadu mm -hmm. so i can speak little bit tamil but not good enough for can any can you speak little bit for our viewer something i don't know what not you know? really you can ask me something that i can answer back in tamil yeah let's like see that. if you can answer like okay so ninga in the university ku apply pannumbodu enna la requirement irundathu can i answer in english <laughs> <laughs> because i understand tamil but okay, okay. Yeah. so okay so i asked him like um, when you apply to this university like what were the requirements yeah then he is a fresher which should be very very new the requirements will be new not updated or something like that so yeah what were the requirements uh, so the main thing is like in german universities the requirements are very straightforward mm -hmm. so you just have to go to your program website and there they'll list all the main requirements that you need so for my case it was msc in computer science so i just went to the website and i went through the main requirements so the most important thing is you need to have a good grade first of all so for me it was around 1.8 mm -hmm. in german scale so after that you have to find the what subjects you had and the relevant credits that will be needed for that mission so basically in germany they focus more on the math subjects mm -hmm. so let's say in computer science you will need to have some credits in theoretical computer science then linear algebra in differentiation calculus those stuff so the main thing is you need to go to your program website and you need to find out what are these credits okay. that they need so, so we, when you say about i need to have like strong extra credits or good credits in the mathematical field yeah like in our university like since i, I know how is the tamil nadu education system we get grades for each and every subjects yeah. like you used the mathematical grade from from the uh, university of anna university or whatever yeah. or did you change it that credits to german grade system no you don't need to change it but like you have to have a idea like how okay. much it will be converted and you don't have to mention anywhere you just need to mention in your original grade mm -hmm. like in anna university whatever they give 6 or 7 yeah. out of 10 right you just need to mention that okay then that's it yeah and when you give it to the admission office they will convert it to the german grade mm -hmm. then they will see whether you are a good fit or not okay. so, so one more question like uh, many people ask is how can i select computer science program like where to find those universities which are offering computer science since you said yeah. I, i i i applied from university website like how do yeah. you know this university is offering computer science so the main thing that you can do is for finding courses is you, sh you should go to dat.de mm -hmm. so this is like the main portal of universities uh, which are offering courses and there you'll find many filters you can filter based on language like whether it's in german or english then you can find which are the universities which are offering this program so for my case it was masters in computer science and i selected language as english mm -hmm. so after that i got uh, let's say 10 universities out of that i selected three mm -hmm. uh, the main ones were uh, uni stuttgart then technical university of munich mm -hmm. and lastly rwth aachen mm -hmm. so i applied in these three places the, which means you had also gre yeah okay but gre is like a it's some only needed for rwth not rwth uh, tu munich okay in rwth it's not needed for computer science mm -hmm. so you can skip it and even in uni stuttgart it's not needed I just wrote it for U Munich. Okay, then other than GRE, you did IELTS, right? Yeah, that's the main English. Mm -hmm. So for that, you can either write IELTS or TOEFL, okay. whichever you are comfortable with. So you can do that.
Okay, then how was your like how was your profile with CGP? You said 1.9 GP, uh, GPA yeah. was your uh, bachelor's grade. How were your IELTS and GRE score? Uh, IELTS was like around 7.5 mm -hmm. out of 9, mm -hmm. and GRE was around 3.28 out of 3.40. <laughs> Crazy. <So. laughs> it was too good actually. Very strong profile for such kind of university. Did you get acceptance from RWT HR? Ah, no. So I'll, I'll tell you why I didn't get there. Okay. So like previously I mentioned the credit system that's uh, very important for the admissions. So in RWTH and PU Munich, the main thing is like you need to have uh, more credits in linear algebra okay. and calculus and theoretical computer science. Unfortunately, in my bachelor system, there was uh, lower grades, mm -hmm. I mean lower credits in theoretical computer science. So the, let's say they needed around 12 and I ne had only 6. Mm -hmm. So because of that I didn't get admission in those two okay. universities. So that's the main thing you have to focus on. You need to check whether the university uh, will accept your credits. Okay, good. So however he has got his admission and everything that thing and after getting his admission maybe he booked a visa appointment, looked for a blocked account, everything like normal standards. The big question is during COVID, how was your travel experience and how did you get to University of Stuttgart? Did uh -huh. someone help you, guided you or you did on all in your own? So basically you'll find many Facebook groups and all for incoming students. So. I would advise you like before, after getting an admission and before you start uh, your travel plans, you should uh, find some groups mm -hmm. where you can see other fellow students who are joining the same university as you. So in my case, in the, I was joining in summer semester and like in this university, there are only two courses that are open in summer semester. So there were like very few students. Mm -hmm. uh, but in winter semester, you if you come, you'll meet like more students. The probability is higher. So basically you can find some seniors and all in, you can ask them like basic questions how you can travel from India and what you what are the essential things that you need to bring. So for my case like uh, I just met few uh, let's say five students they were in electrical uh, engineering so all those things actually didn't matter for me because finally covid started yeah. and all the travel plans got cancelled. So I would say like for new students who are planning to come, it's important you find some contacts in the universities and you know any seniors, so it mm. will be easier for you to settle down. Okay, like uh, you said you came here uh, in July. Yeah. Uh, did you got accommodation when you were in India or did you find after coming here? Uh, yeah, so for accommodation you can contact the student and work here. So basically every university city will have a student association and they will have some uh, dorms that are much cheaper than private ac accommodation. So for me, I got my admission in around uh, July last week mm -hmm. of uh, 2019 and after that immediately I uh, applied for these uh, student dorms through the association. So for that you just need to send them your uh, admission letter yeah. and you just need to tell them when is the, your moving date. So for me it was April 2020. So I applied in August first week and I got the room around January 2020, last week. Oh, so, it's a long day, yeah. yeah, it's uh, usually the waiting time is six to eight months. Eight months yeah. So, you have to apply early. If you apply just three months before your course start, you will not get it. There's okay. no chance. And then you have to start searching for private accommodation, and okay. that's quite difficult. So, talking about the course content, uh, content will not bring a lot because since he came here like last. Uh, since three months he is here, he will be not that much into the course yet now. And also, classes are going online, if I am right. Yeah, so... Due to COVID, everything is online, then the course content will be a little bit regulated, not like uh, like vast area. He can visit the campus, go to the online classes, uh, I mean, the normal classes and everything. But however, let's ask, like, uh, when you check the course module of computer science, and when you are here in uh, your online classes or in the university, how you find? Is it uh, a good thing or did you got what you expected or? Yeah, so basically like well, I told you right before uh, applying for admission, you have to search the program mm -hmm. website. So you'll find most of the time that they'll give a link to the course modules, like which are the subjects that are offered for each specialization. So initially I found that book and whatever courses were there, I found them interesting so that's why I applied here. Okay then, since you are in the first semester you will be having not that much experience towards uh, 
the job industries here you will have little bit but not that yeah. much deep then when i ask like what are your future plans like second semester third semester internships work student what are your future plans actually so in my course there is actually no requirement for an internship mm -hmm. so basically there's a 15 credit for a research project but that's also an elective so if i choose i can do it other otherwise i can just take up normal course modules and with respect to job prospects uh, yeah i'll right now it's i just arrived here so i'm not applying it but eventually i'll start searching for some part time work mm -hmm. student jobs okay okay like uh, how are the online classes is it like uh, comfortable for you or uh, like Online classes are comfortable, but the only drawback will be is that you won't meet their fellow students. Mm -hmm. So you can't interact with them that easily. Uh, but the it has many other advantages also. Like for example, most classes will be offered in an asynchronous manner. Mm -hmm. You don't have to sit in front of the computer at a specific time to do the class. The, most of the professors will upload the videos oh, okay. in a platform called Ilias. It's like an intern platform for a university. So basically, whenever you are free, you download those videos and you watch them. It's like online courses where mm, you get yeah. certification and everything. That's very good actually. And advantage is that like whatever questions you have, you can post them in the same mm -hmm. forum. So whenever the teacher, or professor or the tutors have time, they'll answer your questions. Uh, have you visited the university bibliotheque, the library? Actually, till now I didn't need till now, okay. so. Then yeah, okay. But however, we have covered that in Tempus uh, too. You can watch over there how is the bibliotheque and everything. Yeah. And the next part uh, is about visa. So, normal it's uh, it's normal to open the blocked account before coming here. You yeah. open the blocked account. You went to the embassy there. You got your visa and you came here. Did you apply for your normal visa residence card or not? Yeah, I have applied. Uh, how long did you get? Like one year or? Yeah. Now I think they have changed the rules, so they are only giving for one year. Okay. So. Yeah, but in most of the videos I have said, like, it depends on the city and depends on the visa officer. You will get sometimes one year, you might get sometimes two years. It all depends. But for him, for the 10,000 euros, he got like one year, which is like as per the rule. Uh, do you, you said uh, during COVID, it, your travel plans changed a little bit. Yeah. But uh, after arriving in uh, Frankfurt, I think you came Frankfurt. Yeah, yeah. After arriving in Frankfurt, like who helped you to reach Stuttgart and also from Stuttgart, uh, I don't know, main train station to university or whatever, like how did you manage to get in? Uh, so basically, like uh, before coming here, I signed up for a mentorship program mm -hmm. in the international office. So like there they'll assign some mentors to you who will help you in the first semester. So basically they told me all the main things so like which station i have to get down at and which train i have to take and basically to be honest it's quite simple mm -hmm. uh, you get down at frankfurt airport and from there you just take a subway down and then you'll reach the long distance train station from there you just have to take this uh, go to the correct platform and you take that train so the only thing is you should book the tickets beforehand mm -hmm. so like uh, these uh, intercity trains they'll have like a uh, different price ranges so you can select whichever is more suitable for you and you book the ticket around let's say one week before coming and you come with that ticket in your mobile so they don't need any printout or anything so which means you got the guidance from your mentor and you followed them ah uh, yeah okay. or you can just uh, check the uh, what to say in google you'll find many websites mm -hmm. which will tell you which trains to take which train will go from Frankfurt to Stuttgart? How is it uh, like? Uh, do you know German when you came here? No. No, I don't. So like, without German, you can manage without guidance from mentor. Ah, uh, yeah. Actually, it's not very difficult, and it depends on the city mm -hmm. because Stuttgart is a big city, big city, and there are many trains. Mm -hmm. So those things, uh, it's easy to find information online. But suppose you are going to some smaller town, let's say like Kaiserslautern or somewhere, then it will be a bit difficult to find. Mm -hmm correct information online yeah. so okay. you have to focus mm -hmm. i mean you have to see where you're getting admission first then you have to decide on so, this but most of the cases there will be like sign boards everywhere uh, you need to be like careful when you are reading the sign boards if you follow the sign boards you will be safe enough to reach your destination and you said you don't know german like since you are here uh, like last three months how hard is life without german or is it okay uh, it will be hard if you don't know anything mm -hmm. in german yeah, so you won't be able to form friends mm -hmm. initially, but uh, 
in university like most of them people they will speak english so it's not that difficult okay. main problem is when you go outside the city it might be difficult to find people who mm -hmm. speak english so the i would advise like at least learn some basic sentences mm -hmm. in german so, so that you don't struggle what are your next steps to learn german is a university providing some language courses or you have to pay on your own so in our university they have some courses mm -hmm. for german but like uh, due to this covid they cancel those things okay. and for that we have to pay around i think 200 euros like, like this is normal if yeah. you go to the folks actually like private schools outside it's the same i think if i'm right yeah, yeah. so yeah since he is a fresher here in germany uh, we can't like talk about like job scope or whatever thing about the computer science because he's as i said he's fresher he doesn't know a lot about german uh, job market as of now but he will learn for sure that's uh, you once you are here you will experience everything and you will learn uh, on your own everything that's very very easy actually here in germany compared to india so yeah that's it uh, from this video i think you got little bit uh, info like uh, yeah before uh, quitting the video let's ask a final question uh, however like you managed to reach germany with your profile and everything if yeah. someone is watching the video and he wants to pursue the same course like us in germany what will you suggest for them like you need to be uh, like like how to say you need to study well in these courses like you said already mathematics which means yeah. they have to score a little bit more but other than studies what should they focus to get admission in this university so actually like uh, the main thing is like your credits mm -hmm. that you get in your bachelor's that's the main deciding factor in your Uh, admission process after that they'll come on to the letter of recommendation and the letter of motivation and mostly work experience in my opinion it does not count towards your admission uh, decision so i would say like uh, you if possible during your bachelor's try to take subjects that uh, if it's possible that are more uh, let's say more related to your master's program in future mm -hmm. i know in india it's not really possible it was not possible in my yes. college so i studied whatever they offered but if it's possible in your college you should try and take subjects mm -hmm. that will be helpful for your masters yeah that's actually very true and uh, did you went to any consultancy or applied no. yeah never. actually like for germany there's no need or going to a consultancy this is what i say never go to consultancy and don't waste your money instead invest your time to research the internet like what are the things you have to do on everything that's it and apply on your own you will get definitely someday you have to try that's it but better than asking will i get admission will i get admission nobody can answer this you have to try it and that's it if it if you get that's it your life will be like it's in another way so and yeah let's thank arijit right yeah <laughs> let's thank arijit for his time for giving his valuable info for you all guys and I think from your side I will wish him all the best for his future and for his career in Germany. Thank you okay. very much for yeah. your time. Sorry. Thank you. Yeah. Bye bye. See you in the next video.